Hey, what's happening, squad? So, welcome to today's video. Gonna be filming a QA for you guys today. Put out like a post where you can ask questions on Instagram. So, I'm gonna be going through them throughout this video. Session again today, guys. I won't be really filming the workout today. The question, guys, was what keeps you um, what keeps you motivated the most to stay consistent? And that is honestly just to reach my goals, man. Just I see, I picture the goals, see it in my head, visualize it, you know, and um, I realize I'm not that far away where I want to be, so I keep going because why stop now? Put in years to this, you know, and uh, missing workouts is just gonna put me back more. So what I would say guys, for those struggling to stay consistent, look at where you were, look at where you are now, look at where you want to be. Visualize your goals, always visualize your goals. See where you're going, man, because, if you don't have a good image in your head of where you want to be man like what are you going for you know what i mean you're just endlessly working out for what you need that clear goal clear image in your head and uh, think about it every day think about it every day keep going keep pushing and especially when you see the results coming in you're going to be more hungry to uh, you're going to be hungry to have more and more really that's how i became very consistent i just filmed it for a period of time when i didn't really like going to the gym I firmed it, I stayed at it, and then when I saw the results, that itself was like, boom, motivation for me to keep staying consistent, because I realized, well, I'm not far from my goals, and I'm sure it will happen to you guys. Once you start seeing a bit of results in the gym, you're gonna be hungry for more, you're gonna want more. You just, that itself just gonna keep you going, man, burning the flame. This guy's from my old Samsung. Just checking the questions on here, because man's recording with his phone, so, yeah. All right, I got some more questions here. Uh, this is on my old phone, which has been smashed. Yeah, man. What's the best exercise for six pack? Oh, so the best exercise for six pack, guys. There is no best exercise for six pack. You just gotta get the dieting done, man. First of all, you will see your abs when your body fat's low enough. Uh, that's when you see your abs and you know the exercises you do for abs they help build and strengthen the abs more you already have it but it's usually under a layer of fat so you need to reduce your body fat first and foremost how do you do this you go in a calorie deficit so you know you eat less than you burn and subsequently you lose body fat so you also obviously need to maintain you know the ab exercises and general gym exercises um your routine you know it's not just doing abs you know you got to do an actual routine all body parts but abs included and that really you know helps make the abs better bigger and more like yeah thick essentially um better bigger and you know stronger and they will pop better but yeah best exercise for abs mm, there is no um Oh, you know, there is no best exercise that creates abs, but if uh, we were to say the ones I go to the most, which I think are very effective to help create the abs, I would say hanging leg raises, very good. Hanging leg raises, abdominal twists, uh, usually for weight, um, weighted crunches with a rope in the gym, and probably weighted sit-ups I like as well, really, yeah. For abs, you need to train it like an, any other muscle um, and add progressive overload. What cardio do you do? For cardio guys, I mainly just do jump rope two to three times a week and maybe go for walks as well. Obviously with coronavirus, my steps have been reduced, but generally they have always been quite high. So I say walks and I did play football before that got shut as well. Everything getting shut, man. But yeah, football or, you know, America's known as soccer. We ain't calling it soccer here, man. It's football, you get me? So mainly I was doing football once a week or twice a week and then you know jump up twice a week and obviously i'm in my daily steps too that's it man uk versus usa huh? so uh, interesting one um i've only been to the us once in my life um to new york city and washington and i've lived in the uk most of my life oh, not most of my life i've lived in the uk half of my life I also lived in Holland half of my life. And I would say Holland's better than all of them. Better country, cleaner country. It's smaller, but it's just better, cleaner, safer, all of that. Holland, man. Neither, I'd say. What made you love lifting and fitness in general? Seeing the results made me love fitness in general. And you know, the adrenaline you get from it, the, the good feeling, you know, 
you feel like you achieved something you always feel better after a workout you you only regret not working out you never regret working out because you feel so good after um and it just sets you you know especially if you do in the morning it just sets you on the right way for the day so yeah what made me love it honestly the results because you know seeing my body transform seeing what i could do to you know improve myself i was just like whoa and i fell in love with the process and yeah the, the good feeling generally i'm feeling healthy can i lose fat and gain muscle at the same time this is a very common question uh, yes you can only if you are a beginner um you can you know for example if you don't have any muscle and you are in a quite mediumish body fat you know not high not low and you want to cut down first of all to reduce your body fat and you start lifting weights for the first time you will lose fat because you know that's your goal and you're in a calorie deficit and you will also build muscle because you've never you know stimulated the muscles before and you are doing something new which your body is not used to so your body will build regardless of what you are doing uh, to adapt to the situation best way to reduce belly fat uh you can't specifically reduce belly fat man you gotta you know go in a calorie deficit like i said and you gotta lose fat in general and you know your belly fat will come off with it sometimes for some people it's a more stubborn area and it might be the last area to lose body fat but yeah you just gotta go in a calorie deficit um which is once again eating less than you burn and yeah you will um lose belly fat body fat anything you know you lose fat all around and that's the way to do it what is your arm measurement arms up my arms are 14 to 15 inches i haven't measured them in a while well that you know they're not huge or anything but you know they're normal yeah do i have any goals for arms uh not specifically a size as long as they look good they look lean they look cut and they look big and i got a bicep peak you know what i'm saying and they're hugging the sleeves most important as long as they're hugging the sleeves i'm good i don't care what size my arms are why are your calves so small someone said how do you do such a clean muscle up <laughs> do you think i do a clean muscle up for me i haven't seen half the people then because my muscle up is not even there but I appreciate the kind words. That's something I'm working on to improve. Yeah, I my muscle is shit, man. Now it's decent, you know. It's decent. I'm trying to get there, you know. Um, I'm trying to get it clean. There is some guys on Instagram and on YouTube who do it effortlessly, clean, no swinging, no kipping. Uh, and I'm just like, wow. And you know, that inspires me to get the clean muscle up as well. And something I have been working on very hard, and I'm getting this slowly every session. But it's still gonna take some time, man. What is your one rep max for squat? Oh, I've never tested my one rep max for squat, but I am gonna guess. I have done 107.5 kg, which is in pounds. Hold up, I will have a look for you guys. I don't know kgs. 236 pounds. Um, 107.5 kg. Um, slash 236 pounds I have done for three to four reps so I'm guessing my one rep max would be potentially 110 215 kg 253 pounds which is not that high but for me you know I weigh around 72 73 kg so that's you know quite a lot for me um, the 115 kg I think that'll be my one max, but I've never tested it because I don't train that way really. But maybe one day I'll make a video about it. How old are you? I am 18. I wish. I'm 23, guys. I'm very old. Where are you from? I should have started with these little questions, you know. Um, I'm from Cardiff, Wales, in the United Kingdom. I've lived there probably around 12 years or so, half of my life. Before I lived in the Netherlands. What's the story behind your Instagram name? Oh, this is a good one. This is a very good one. I like this one. Back in the day, I really used to. Uh, I used to follow like um, uh, fitness YouTubers uh, like Christian Guzman, Student Aesthetics, known as Marine, Rob Lipset. And I used to watch all their videos really, and um, you know, it was kind of like uh, competing like back in the day well back in the day it's not that long ago but competing back like 2016-15 was quite big 
uh, people were competing for shows. Not bodybuilding, but men's physique, uh, natural shows. I thought that was cool, you know, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try and get in my best shape ever and compete as well and just see, you know, how well I can do. But I changed my mind on that because I didn't like the idea of getting on stage and being judged and all that. And that's where I got the Instagram name from, Life on Prep, because I was gonna eventually do a prep for a show. The name was cool, people really dig the name, so I'm gonna keep the name, of course. Uh, competing is maybe something I will do in the future, but not um, physique competing. I might do a strength competition with weighted calisthenics. Who, you know, who knows? We shall see. Uh, if I'm healthy enough and if I get uh, a bit more stronger, that's something I will consider, but physique competing off the cards. What is your height? My height is seven foot two. Nah, it's not. Uh, my height is, uh, I wish it was 7 foot 2, my height is 5 foot 11, man. I am medium height, uh, I'm just about the, I'm just about a good height for calisthenics because the taller you get, um, the harder it is to be honest. So it's hard enough for me, but I'm not the tallest person. There is, you know, bigger people, guys who are 6 3, 6 4 who do calisthenics. And, you know, fair play to them, but you will be limited with some things like skill moves and shit. But um, for me, it's just about good. Uh, I can do everything. So another question, guys, I had was, what are your goals working out at home? Well, first of all, um, well, the gym has been closed, as you guys know, because of coronavirus and all that shit. You know what I mean? In some countries, they reopen really quickly. But unfortunately in the UK, it still hasn't opened. But today there has been an announcement where the gyms will open this month of July uh, in England. Uh, I live in Wales, so it may be delayed another week after that date. But yeah, the gyms are reopening soon, which is good. But to go to that question is working out at home, my goals have been really to, um, to first off maintain my strength, first and foremost, maintain my physique. And I have been in a slight calorie surplus um, to bulk up a little bit. Not anything major because my energy expenditure has gone down. Um, and you know, my main goal was to, after maintaining my strength, to gain some strength, you know, on my weighted exercises, so just weighted pull-ups, weighted dips, weighted push-ups, uh, which is all I've really been able to do as, you know, compound exercises. So, oh, and weighted chin-ups as well, guys. So yeah, my goal has been to gain strength, to gain muscle, and you know, overall to maintain my physique. And if I can add to it, great. I feel as if, you know, the last three months or four months, however long it's been, I have maintained what I had and I've added more to it. I've gained the muscle, I have gained a bit more strength and I'm heading in the right direction. I'm using my water bottle as a bloody holder for my um, iPhone to record. So I can't even drink, man, you get me? This is what I'm doing for you guys, man. This is what I'm doing, man. I'm sacrificing my hydration. I'm joking. <laughs> um, right, let's have a look. Right. My biggest struggle in fitness has been the injury I had in my pec. Uh, that has, you know, taken one year of my progress, essentially. I didn't really regress necessarily, but I didn't progress for one year. Um, because there's, you know, just a lot of things I couldn't do which was very disappointing. So, you know, there is a year shaving off my gym progress. Um, so yeah, I've just had to overcome it through techniques myself. I feel healthy now and yeah, hopefully I can overcome that problem and progress and keep progressing and staying healthy, man. So one of the questions guys was, what made me get into calisthenics and weighted calisthenics? So with bodybuilding training, I was doing well for my first year or so, and I made great progress as you can see in my transformation video on my channel. Um, but yeah, um, and then I started getting, you know, like pec, pec injury um, with bench press and um, uh, which healed eventually. And, you know, I started doing pressing motions again, like incline presses and that, but and uh, chest flies as well and things like that. But uh, my chest was just, it didn't react well to going back to that after my injury. And, you know, it was kind of a, uh, I wasn't getting re-injured, um, so to say, but I had very uncomfortable feeling when doing these exercises. The one exercise I didn't have a major issue on my chest with was weighted dips and weighted push-ups. I didn't really feel that same, you know, discomfort in my chest. 
I was already doing, you know, weighted pull-ups, and at the time as well, coincidentally, I saw I was starting to follow more the calisthenic scene on Instagram and on YouTube as well, a couple of channels, and I was really fascinated, you know, by the skill training and the weighted calisthenic strength some people had, and I was like, whoa, this is something I got to do. So the timing was right, and from a health point of view, um, I wasn't feeling any niggles doing weighted calisthenics or calisthenics and um i just felt really healthy and it was still so far i you know just still so far i can go with calisthenics uh, as i'm still in my intermediate beginner phase um, i have been in the gym for you know a couple of years but calisthenics is something new to me uh luckily i did build my weighted pull-up strength over the years already um in my bodybuilding split there are you know weighted dips and you know that was still a bit new to me and uh, i started working on these exercises and at the same time i'm working on skill training and you know there, there's so many levels i can still reach with this and this is why i like it you can always evolve with calisthenics and weighted calisthenics um you know with another thing was with bodybuilding um i did really enjoy it and i do and you get brilliant results from it but it did get a bit repetitive for me in the end and i was like i did want something new and um yeah thank you very much guys for sending your question on instagram stories and my post and yeah guys if you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe i will be bringing up plenty of more videos fitness lifestyle and just vlogs in general and also more q and a's in the future guys so stay tuned keep an eye on the channel also if you subscribe click the little bell you know you know what i'm saying get notifications of your boy yeah but yeah guys thank you very much for watching today's video peace out